guys, it's story time take two because my first story, for some reason, I talked too long or it was too long and it won't load. So I'm going to read Clifford, the big red dog, the big bad cold. And it's written by, the books are written and illustrated by Norman Birdwell. There's the cover. And here we go. Clifford was waiting for Emily, Elizabeth, T-Bone, and Cleo were waiting with him. They wanted her to come out to play. Clifford looked in the window. Oh, Clifford, Emily, Elizabeth said, I can't come out today. I have a bad cold. Poor Emily, Elizabeth. Ah, chew. What was that? asked T-Bone. Who was that? asked Cleo. It's Emily Elizabeth, said Clifford. She's got a bad cold. Poor Emily. We've all had bad cold before. I know what will make her feel better, said T-Bone. Get well, Gimps. We can make her a get well card, Clifford said. We can give her a big balloon, said Cleo. We can give her a bunch of flowers, T-Bone said and I know just where to find some. These flowers are just right, T-Bone, Clifford said. Oh no, stop, Clifford, stop, cried T-Bone. And the flower, all the flowers floated away. Oh, look what Clifford did. He got so excited digging them up. He made a mess. Sorry, said Clifford. That's all right, said T-Bone. The flowers look different, Cleo said, but they're still pretty. Right, Cleo, right, Clifford said. Emily Elizabeth will still like them. We still need a card and a balloon, said Cleo. They walked over to the pier. Hey, look at that, Cleo said. Samuel was standing in front of the fish and chips shack. Free balloons today, he called. Come and get your free balloons. Cleo ran to the balloons. She tried to get one. She jumped, and the next thing you knew. Uh-oh, what happened to Cleo? She was floating up, up, and away. Clifford and T-Bone ran after her. Do you think she's scared? I would be scared. At last, the balloons caught on a flagpole. Clifford helped Cleo get down. How about just one balloon, Cleo, said Samuel. Cleo barked. I'll take that as a yes, Samuel said. He laughed and tied a yellow balloon to Cleo's tail. I'm glad you're okay, Cleo, said Clifford. That's a great balloon. Just then, Clifford stepped on something that was lying on the sidewalk. The piece of cardboard, this piece of cardboard would be perfect for Emily Elizabeth's card, he said. But look, I spoiled it. How did he spoil it? Don't worry, Clifford, said Cleo. T-Bone and I will fix it right up. This is like finger painting, but I call it body painting said T-Bone. Looks great, Cleo said. Just one more little spot right here. They covered the card with mud. Perfect, said Clifford. Emily Elizabeth will love it. Suddenly, the wind blew the card over the fence, right into the Beekman's yard. Remember the Beekman said we can't go into their yard, Clifford said. Not even one paw. Then we have to, but we have to get the card some other, then we'll have to get the card some other way, said Cleo. Sw swing T-Bone one more time, Clifford said. He just has to grab the card in his teeth. You can do it, T-Bone. Look at Clifford. That's resourceful. T-Bone went flying back and forth. Luckily, Mr. Beekman didn't see him. T-Bone went lower and lower. Ah, uh, you've got it, T-Bone, said Cleo. Yay, T-Bone. Clifford cheered. You did it. At last, the dogs are ready to give Emily Elizabeth her gifts. 
Are these for me, Emily Elizabeth asked. Thank you all. I feel better already. I have the best friends in the world. The end. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments. See you guys tomorrow.